Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. So this video is a little bit different because a few days ago I went out with my friends for a photo walk around the Sunnyside neighborhood of Calgary. And we decided to take out our cameras with us and just take photos of things that are interesting. Since it was already sunset, I decided to use the Lomography Color Negative 800 film, which I think is a great high speed but cheap film. The camera I used was the Canon EOS Elan 2 or the 50E, which is a great SLR camera from the early years of Canon autofocus system. Like I said earlier, we didn't set out to photograph anything in particular. We were just a group of friends having fun with film photography while walking around the city. For example, we found this artsy stationary bike installation that lets you charge your phone by pedaling. I thought it was cute so I took a photo of my friend Bianca while using it. To make things a little more interesting as the daylight continued to fade, we decided to head over the Peace Bridge, which is a fairly recent addition to Calgarian landmarks. It's a modern steel bridge structure designed by famed Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava. Here I decided to take out my new Petzval 85 lens from Lomography, which is a modern take on one of the first lenses from 1840. I bought the EF mount version of the lens so I mounted it on my Elan 2. However, it's a fully manual lens and the Elan 2 does not have any manual focus support such as a split image prism in its viewfinder. So it's very interesting to focus relying on my eyesight alone. Despite that, I really wanted to test what the lens could do when paired with film, so I went on ahead and got my friends to pose for me as my subjects. It was really hard to focus, but I think I still got some usable shots. I got the film developed at London Drugs, which is essentially a drugstore, but I think the quality of their scans are good enough. Another challenge was making sure I got the right exposure. I've gotten so used to just letting the camera calculate the right exposure for me, so sometimes I end up with underexposed photos. Still pretty cool. But when you get everything right, focus and exposure wise, you can get some stunning photos with this lens and the 800 ISO speed film. I love the character of the bokeh as if it's swirling around your subject, which is one of the main selling points of this lens in the first place. As for the film, it does have a quite noticeable green, but I think it looks nice and isn't too jarring. I like the warm yellow and teal overtones of the film, although sometimes some skin tones can look greenish depending on the light. Afterwards, I decided to test the lens on my Canon 6D where focusing can be a little bit easier by zooming in. This is the original 6D though, so there's no focus speaking support. I also had my Helios 44M with me that evening. It's a vintage Russian lens, 58mm f2, which is also known for having that swirly bokeh effect. I thought it'd be nice to do a simple, non-rigorous comparison because the Helios can be had for cheaper compared to the $800 Petzl lens. Here are some photos that I took back in the summer using the same lens. So quickly, I'm showing this one photo taken with the Petzl, and these are the ones taken by Helios. As you can hopefully see, the Petzl has more contrast compared to the Helios 44. Um, it also has a more pronounced swirly bokeh. Uh, most likely from the difference in their focal length. Both lenses are really nice though and I'm lucky to have both in my collection. So thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you liked it. I've been thinking about creating some more film photography related content for this channel, so if you'd like to see more of that, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers! Hey Nisha! Say hi. It's my cat, Misha. Say hi to the video. Over there.